A local woman is a victim of that opioid epidemic. She started using at the height of the prescription boom. Here's KX's digital reporter Nikki Johnson with Pam's story. The opioid crisis in the state is a real battle. One North Dakota entrepreneur in recovery from pain medication says her drug dealers were her doctors. My doctors, the emergency room doctors, my primary doctor was my drug dealer. I got whatever I wanted. And I know a lot of it had to do with the way I look. I had a doctor even write that in my notes. And he said, Pam is a very smart, um, attractive woman, woman, and I just want to give her whatever she wants. Meet Pam Emmel, owner of Driven Diva Planner and Driven Diva Designs. On the outside, she showed no sign of struggling with her addiction. On the inside was a different story. Growing up, I always felt different, and I didn't... I thought it was because I was adopted and because I felt different than my brothers. My brothers were very academically smart and I was not. Pam grew up in what she calls a normal home, but after several traumatic experiences with a family member, she began to mask her pain by drinking alcohol. I would lie, I would cheat, I would steal, I would drink. Um, I didn't understand what I was doing. This continued from high school into her late 30s when she was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer. It was then her drug of choice became pain pills. The new normal for Pam became frequent trips to the ER or walk-in clinics. This is how her daughter Courtney remembers her mom. Always sick, always going to the doctor. It was just like very normal for me to like drive her to the emergency room like more than like once, twice a week. After many years of being in and out of the hospitals for cancer, shingles, nerve damage, and more, it got to the point where Pam got arrested for altering her morphine prescription. He gave it to me on a Friday, said so don't fill it until Monday. And um, me being the impulsive, impulsive Pam that I am, um, I was at my gro the drugstore, grocery store, where I fill my prescriptions, getting some candy for my office. And... Um, and tried to fill my prescription and I altered the prescription to look like it could have been filled on that day. And um, the cops came and I ended up getting arrested and I had a felony charge on me. And it was just like, what just happened? After years of using pain medication to mask her emotional pain, Pam's husband told her she needed help. They learned about Ideal Option, a medical facility in Bismarck that helps people get off of opioids by offering buprenorphine. A prescription medicine used to treat adults who are addicted to opioid drugs as part of a treatment program that also includes behavioral therapy. Pam's been taking it since she got sober two years ago. By the grace of God, Ideal Options opened in Bismarck February 21st of 2018, and I was their very first patient at 8.30 in the morning. And the doctors were amazing. They treated me like a human being. Our goal is for them, a person to be comfortable, and um, to have cravings controlled and they should take it at a dose that makes them comfortable for as long as it helps them. As an entrepreneur, Pam says it's important to have all the right things in place in order to keep her life and business moving in a positive direction. Trust me, my business is exponentially grown. I can't keep up with it right now because I'm clean and sober and I've got the faith and I've got the friends and I've got the family. It's, you know, I've got all the right things now is my trifactor now and it feels amazing. Nikki Johnson, KX News. And Courtney, Pam's daughter, has a special message for children with parents dealing with addiction. You can see that message exclusively on KXNet.